morning, ESM. I'm Abby, and today is March 23rd, and it is a day three. Now time for some news. A high school football player in California dies after collapsing during a football game. Senior at John F. Kennedy High School, Emmanuel Artui, collapsed on the sidelines during a football game on Friday and died shortly after being rushed to the hospital. In a news release, the Sacramento City, sorry if I pronounced that wrong, Unified School District said they do not have any details to share beyond this. A GoFundMe page was set up to help Artui's mother with, with funeral expenses and the care for her two children. As of Sunday, the fundraiser has raised more than $27,000 and organizers are thankful for the overwhelming amount of love and support they received. General Mills is getting roasted on Twitter after comedian Jensen Karp claims he found a shrimp tails in his Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Cinnamon Toast Crunch official Twitter said that they would replace the box, but Karp DM'd the company and they claimed that there is absolutely no way the shrimp tails could be in someone's cereal. Karp also reported the incident in Costco in California as he already eaten a bowl of cereal before discovering the shrimp tails. General Mills has not commented further on the subject. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. So what does pride mean to you in your professional life? Well, um, Abby, I suppose it has a lot of different meanings. Um, specifically, uh, with this week being Pride Week, uh, respect and involvement are important. And a big part of my role is working with students and teachers to uh, demonstrate what respect could mean in the classroom or on the playing field or even just in the hallways. And this year, there's that added layer of participating virtually in classes. Um, so that could be, you know, how we respond to teachers' questions and how much work we're getting done, how we advocate for ourselves. And that ties right into involvement too, because, you know, if you're out on the playing field and you're disrespectful, you're not really being involved in a prideful way. And so certainly that's important. And the same goes for your behavior in the classroom or your interaction with your peers in the classroom. And so you can show involvement by, again, advocating for yourself, uh, supporting your peers and learning, being collaborative, and being an active member of the school community. So in my role, I get to support all of you with all of that and, um, you know, being here on the morning show or attending a game, which this year, of course, has different rules, um, or going to musical functions or, uh, you know, participating in any of the other types of events that happen here or outside in the community. All right, wonderful. So how can students insert pride during out the school day? Well, I think being an active member of the community, um, you know, you can show respect by the way that you interact with your teachers and with your peers. You can certainly uh, show respect. You know, one of the things about respect is it looks different kind of everywhere. So, you know, if you go to a certain friend's house, maybe you can wear your shoes in the house and another friend's house you can't. So knowing that there's different rules at school and uh, following those and being mindful of teacher expectations in the classroom is another way to show respect and then just being kind you know to teachers students uh, your peers and kindness kind of goes a really long way it doesn't matter um, you know if you're approached with negativity if you respond with kindness there's usually kindness to come following and um, you can show involvement here at school by participating in class activities or signing up to be part of a club. You can do the same thing out on the athletic field and, you know, or, or on stage, whichever, uh, you know, different atmosphere kind of fits your personality, you can show involvement that way. And certainly involvement goes beyond the building. You can show involvement in your community um, by volunteering, uh, being supportive, and of course, you know, maybe rooting for us, you. <laughs> All right, so now on to weather with Grayson.
Today, on Monday, we will have a high of 69 and a low of 42, meaning today will be a nice day to go outside. Today, we'll have a lot of sunshine and be unseasonably warm. Later tonight, it will start to get cloudy and a little mild. Now, on to Tuesday, sorry, Wednesday. <laughs> Wednesday, we'll continue with the warmer weather with a high of 66 and a low of 52. Wednesday will also be breezy and have a few scattered showers with possible intervals of sun. Anyways, I'm Grayson with your weather. So we have one last question for you. How does this look differently if a student is participating in school remotely? Like how would they show respect and involvement virtually? Um, Abby, that's a really great question. I think the virtual classroom has presented a, a set of scenarios that are certainly different. As a student, you can still be respectful to the teacher and the other students in class. You can make sure that, you know, if your camera's on, your facial expressions are appropriate. You can make sure that the little icon, if your camera is off, is also school appropriate. Um, maybe choose a picture of you because it's you know something that we all certainly miss this year is seeing all of your beautiful faces. Um, you can also make sure that you're participating in the discussion in class and um, answering questions in the chat maybe if your mic isn't working and things like that. Um, and also just being understanding of the fact that that digital world presents those you know things we have to overcome that don't show up in the regular classroom. And then you can certainly show involvement again, um, you know, maybe watching one of the streaming um, games on YouTube. I know that the athletic department's done a really great job with that this year. And, uh, you know, we're getting ready to have the musical, so participating in watching that and, and being part of uh, the community virtually. So thank you for coming on the show, Mrs. Trevithan. You're so we really welcome. appreciate it. Thanks for uh, having me. Speaking of involvement, we had a lot of athletes be involved over the weekend. So Luke, what do we have for sports? The Varsity Girls Volleyball team beat Central Square in four sets last night. The team was led by Laura Sitnik with nine kills, two service aces, and ten digs. The team's next game is Thursday at home against Fulton for their senior night. In March Madness news, USC upset, Can uh, upset Kansas 85-51. In NFL news, the New York Giants signed former Tennessee Titans cornerback Adoree Jackson to a three-year, $39 million contract. I'm Luke with your sports. Well, that's all we have for today. Um, from me and everyone here at the Morning Show, have a great day, and don't forget to show your pride. And also, if you see Mrs. DeBurgess or Danielle Hare today, make sure to say happy birthday.